Well, after a nearly three-year absence, the Miramar Air Show is set to return on September 23rd. And the Director of Communications for the Marine Corps Air Station Miramar is Captain Matthew Red Bull Gregory. He joins us now with more on that. Hey, Captain, good to talk to you. Good to be back. How are you? This is fantastic. We're all so excited for this. It's been a while. Tell me what you have planned for this year's big show. You know, it's it's been too long of a time. And this year's show, is when we're opening it up, is going to be one of the best that we've ever had. Uh, the theme for this year's show is Marines fight, evolve, and win. It is very reflective of our Commandant's priority for 2030 force design, where we're evolving the way and capabilities that we fight. So a lot of what everyone's going to see this year is the high end of Marine Corps and DOD technology, which includes the F-22 uh, Raptor demo team that we're getting from the Air Force, the U.S. Navy Blue Angels flying their new Super Hornets, and a whole host of other Marine Corps related acts that are going to that are fan favorites. Yeah, it's going to be great. Tell me a little bit about what people are going to see in the air, the air show part of it, and then maybe we'll talk about what's on the ground because obviously you can kind of walk around and see all kinds of uh, great things that way. Well, the format by and large hasn't changed. It's still going to be a full day, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for everyone to come out. And as I said, the F-22 demo team from the Raptor, I mean, the F-22 Raptor demo team from the Air Force is coming out. We have a brand new F-35B demo from the Marine Corps. Our MAGTAF demo, which is very unique to Miramar, is getting updated with most of our new equipment. We're going to have the U-2 flying as well, which is a very rare sight, and a whole host of other civilian performers that are coming along for the ride. I understand it's free, but then there are also kind of special seats close to the action that you can purchase. Is that right? That's correct. So it's free to get in. The doors are open for the entire community. There are going to be purchasable tickets for uh, advanced, advanced seating, better seating. Uh, and then there's also corporate chalets that are available. And that can be anything from bleachers to uh, seats and tables right up on the flight line itself. So what's the best way for a family to, to watch the air show? And where do they park? And what would you just suggest for them? Well, all of that information is going to be available on the website. So you can visit us at miramarairshow.com. It'll have all of our parking. It'll have all of the ticket sales and all of those kinds of things with, with all the amplifying information as we get closer to the event. And whether you bring chairs or don't, or I, and I know some people don't actually go to the event. They just kind of find a place near the event because all you have to do is look up and you can see all the action that way. That's true. I've heard there's people that are on top of Cow's Mountain that watch it from up there. <laughs> there you go. Uh, tell me what you get out of it. And, and what, are the, what, are the, what are the folks that, uh, you know, all, all of the pilots and, and everybody get out of it? It must be so fun to, to be there and, and to be among fans and, and families. Well, it's, it's personally one of my favorite events that uh, I get to take part of. And we usually get about anywhere from 300,000 to half a million people mm. that come through the base over that weekend. And it is typically the largest military air show in the world. You know, as, as a Marine Corps, we get to invite the community in, show everybody what we do on a day-to-day -day basis, and really highlight the service and sacrifices of all of our active duty and reserve folks that are here aboard the base. So for us, it's a great way to reconnect with the community, especially after COVID's kept us kind of apart yeah. for so long. I know the new Top Gun movie is coming out May 27th, and I wonder if that might just get some people a little bit more pumped up to come on out and see the air show. Well, I, I won't lie to you. The first Top Gun is one of the reasons that I got interested in aviation when I was a kid. Uh, and I have a feeling that that movie is going to do it for an entire new generation of potential aviators. Do all pilots have, have kind of a code name like yours is Red Bull? I, I think those names come with a story. Yeah. Uh, and they're different for everybody. Some are good. Mine is is... I just talk too fast. So it's not as cool of a story as, as many would think, but I most pilots probably do have them. But yeah. the idea is that your buddies give it to you, right? You don't get to choose a cool name. No, you do not pick your own. That's why <laughs> usually there's an embarrassing story that goes along with it. <laughs> talk to me, Red Bull. No, no, no. That's, that's the that's, one, right? Well, that's what I'm here to do today. <laughs> so. that, that was a line out of... Uh... Out of Top Gun. Talk to me, Goose, I think, uh, with Tom Cruise. So, hey, great to talk to you. I'm really looking forward to the show. I hope everybody else is, and, and we'll put the website up on our website as well. Captain Matthew, Red Bull Gregory. Have a great time out there. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me today. Yep.